Um, right, hi everybody. Thanks for coming. Um, we just came down to George Square. As we've been trying to gather here for a while to raise awareness about the child abuse in Scotland's institutions. Every single institution in Scotland has been investigated for sexually, physically and mentally abusing children for decades. Today, um, the Scottish Child Abuse Inquiry starts back up and it's boarding schools in Scotland. Um, these boarding, it's going to go on for a few months. Um, but the thing is, one of the boarding schools is the Queen Victoria School in Dumblain. That school is currently protected by a hundred years secrecy rule because there's a high profile paedophile ring been operating there for many years. Three days ago marked 25 years anniversary of the children in Dumblain and the reason we are raising this awareness is we don't want these children to be silenced any longer. These families deserve justice. Their children were lost but a paedophile shot children in Dumblain, Thomas Hamilton, had already five years previous been sexually abusing boys at a summer camp in Loch Lomond in Scotland. Now Thomas Hamilton also held a gun at this summer camp to a child. That was five years before the Dumblain shooting and it was then put forward that his gun licence be revoked and also that um, he'd be put in a sex offenders register. Now that didn't happen because the Queen Victoria School in Dumblain has high elites linked to it. Um, one of them's Prince Andrew. Um, there's many elites, there's many military members that are a part of that school and they used to take the boys in summer trips. This is currently a part of the Scottish Child Abuse Inquiry and it's taking place today, it's starting back today. So for these victims, these victims can't come forward because the abusers are protected by a hundred year secrecy rule in Scotland. Scotland's laws are currently protecting paedophiles. They're not protecting our children. The longest you get here is five years for the worst crimes against children. And it's the only country in the world that don't deport people if you're not in this country and you abuse their children. Also, if you go on a sex offenders register in Scotland, you're still allowed to fly out under our laws to Thailand and places like that. Um, so as I said, today we were gathered to say a prayer for the children of Dumblain. God bless. And where is that? The big the other one? That big sign, the big silver. Who's it blown away? We are gathered here today. So yes, I would just ask everybody that is gathered here today, we are gathered here today to pray for our children in Scotland, that they get recognised that our institutions in Scotland have been abusing our children for decades, they're currently getting exploited on our streets, there's the laws in Scotland are protecting paedophiles, not children, they're protecting social workers, they're in our institutions, they're in our social work, they're in our child protection, and they're in our government. They're in the police. Our Scottish government are passing legislation every single week for a virus that's only been in circulation for one year. Pedophiles have been in circulation for decades. Why is the Scottish government not refusing to even look at the laws protecting pedophiles in Scotland? Why are they refusing? Yet every single week they're passing legislation in Parliament for a virus the real virus is paedophiles in our country, yeah, sexual yeah. exploitation and trafficking of our children. It's yeah, been yeah, happening for decades. Our establishments were responsible, but it's now beyond con out of control. Our establishments are still currently exploiting our children. During lockdown, Scotland has still got a high number of children that are getting trafficked into this country through other countries. How are they getting in here? If we can't even go on holiday, how are they still trafficking children in and out of our country? Who's responsible? It's for establishments. Um, as I said, we're here because we want to campaign for tougher laws in Scotland for people that abuse our children and predators. As it currently stands, they just go in a revolving door 
and that is the reason why we are taking to the streets. Yet, what we know there's a virus in circulation and we understand that, but there is investigations into the abuse of the, the institutions in Scotland. And as I said, these, these hearings start today. So if you've ever been in any Scotland's institutions, any care homes, any orphanages, any establishments by the Scottish institutions, there's a child abuse inquiry that's currently taking place that nobody really tells you about and it's for survivors to come forward and give evidence against our establishments in Scotland. As I said, we want to make our streets safer for our children and currently they're not safe. The laws in Scotland are protecting paedophiles and the Scottish Government are refusing to look at the laws. They're refusing to look at legislation and we're fighting a losing battle. But as I said, we don't understand because they're showing us right now that they can pass new legislation every single week. So then why for the last 40 years are they refusing to give paedophiles tougher sentences? To me that's just saying if you're a paedophile come to Scotland well, and we're not having that. We want this country to be safe for our children and currently they're not safe. Currently while we're in lockdown, um, I was in here on Saturday night, there's teenagers hanging around the town, 13, 14 year olds. Now Scotland has a really bad problem, I Glasgow, with grooming gangs and child exploitation. These gangs hang about and watch the children getting drunk in the city centre and then they groom them. They talk them into being their girlfriends, they buy them mobile phones, they buy them shoes and then ultimately these children end up the victims of sexual trafficking across uh, flats in Glasgow, flats in Edinburgh, flats in Ayrshire, flats across the whole of Scotland. There's taxi companies that are currently taking these kids around the city. Our government and police are not doing nothing about it. They're only interested in COVID legislations and laws just now and we're sick of it. We, are, we, want a safe, we want safer streets for our children and if they want to patrol the streets for our children then we're going to start doing it. Our children are also hanging about in parks and stuff just now. We've been trying to raise awareness of dangerous, dangerous predators. 27,000 children have went missing in Scotland since 2018. 27,000 missing children in our country in the last three years. Where are they? Where are these missing children going? Somebody needs to realise this is a real problem in our country. Our children are only safe. They're Why genuinely no safe. Our social services are a part of it. Our child protection are a part of it. Our police are a part of it. Our government are a part of it. Our whole establishments are a part of it. There's a Scottish child abuse inquiry taking place, and as I said, but it is, it's corrupt. It's corrupt because the Scottish government have interfered with it so much that everybody's resigned. So although our, our survivors of this abuse for decades and our institutions are coming forward, they're not getting any justice because the Scottish Government are stopping them and then the ones we know that have came to an end. They've been brought in and offered £80,000 by the Scottish Government but if they accept that £80,000 they need to sign a document that they will never take their abusers to court, they will never speak about it again, they will never tell anybody what happened. That's not justice. No. We need to put an we need to we need a new independent Scottish child abuse inquiry. So all these victims. Also, there's mass grave child grave sites across the world. Nobody's even aware of this. There's a septic tank in Ireland, right? And you can go and Google and research this. And there's been found to be 800 babies inside this tank. Now, these children have been beheaded and stuff. They are refusing excavation. Go and research it. They're refusing to excavate these babies. There's mass grave sites worldwide that are refusing excavation in Scotland, England, Ireland and Wales. There's a mass child grave site in Canada. All the British establishments where they've got British empires. Canada, New Zealand, Australia. All these places where there was care homes and orphanages. There's mass child grave sites. Nobody knows how many children are in them and how they got there and who murdered them. And our governments are refusing to deal with it and refusing to look at it. If you look at the International Common Law Courts of Justice in Brussels, they've tried a lot of these elite, high-profile people in the United Kingdom. 
and there's also citizens of this world being issued. But we need people to stand up for these children and say we want these paedophiles arrested. Whether you're the Queen, whether you're Prince Andrew, whether you're the First Minister, whether whoever, it doesn't matter who you are, if you're responsible for abusing your children or allowing the abuse of your children, then Thank you. Thank you. Then, then you have to get. We have to bring you to justice. People, we need to bring these people to account. There's a legal system in Edinburgh for years and years and years. The whole legal system in Edinburgh has a high elite pedophile ring operating in it. It consists of advocates, QCs, judges. There is no one in Edinburgh that has been victim to this pedophile ring still to this day being brought to justice. Again, you can research this. There was boys for the care home that were kidnapped. One boy was kidnapped with these high elite people in Edinburgh. He was locked in a flat for 10 days and he was repeatedly raped, tortured, beaten up by lawyers, judges. This wee boy staggered out into the street and he tried to take them to court. They called in national security, they called in security services to take this wee boy away for questioning because of who he named. Out of the 57 people that were a part of that, raping this wee boy, one of them got prosecuted and only four of them went up in front of the courts because they were all part of the court system and the justice system. So when you go into a court in Scotland, if you are responsible for abusing children or you're a paedophile, you will find you have a paedophile representing you, you're up in front of a paedophile judge, and the justice system protects paedophiles. They do not give them... Yes. There's a, there's a, a dangerous paedophile ring that have just been released to prison in Scotland, oh mostly Do Glasgow and surrounding areas. This, I know, this is a, what do you call that, a trigger warning, right? But these people are engineers, they're in high profile jobs and stuff. They were responsible for um, raping babies under three years old. They were found guilty in our court systems of not just that, but making snuff movies, which is killing babies, distributing it worldwide, and the maximum sentence any of them got was nine years. Sure. They're all back out in Scotland and Glasgow. There's eight of them. John Rennie, no, James Rennie was one of them. Um, Neil Strachan, but they're all under new identities, and they're all, and they they rape babies, like they, they they befriend families, they babysit their babies and then they, they, they make pornographic movies and they distribute it worldwide. Scotland, under Scotland's law, we have given them new identities and placed them in cities under protection. We do not know who these people are. Now, this is the kind of thing we're up against in this country. There is dangerous predators all around us and Scotland is hiding it. And as I said, look up the Scottish Child Abuse Inquiry, every single institution in Scotland was responsible for abusing and torturing and murdering our children for decades and decades and they're still getting away with it. All these people in these establishments that have put their hands up and said it happened, they didn't clear out any of the institutions. All the same workers still work in the care homes, they still work in child protection, they still work in the legal system and they still work in the justice system. So how are you ever going to get justice for a child in a victim of abuse in Scotland? Unless we change the laws, it's not going to happen. And again, I just want to say, Scotland has proven that uh, they can pass legislation every single week in Parliament for a virus. What about the virus of paedophiles? Why would they won't, won't even look at the laws in this country? Why would they won't give them tougher sentences? And why are they refusing to protect their children? The reason why is because they're controlling us all. They're exploiting us all and they've been trafficking us all for years and we want to take back our freedom and stand up and say no more, our children will be protected in our country. If you just want to protect them then we will. We will not be silent. We will not be silent so you can stay comfortable. Thanks everybody. Thank you. And thanks for listening guys. But we need we need, we need more people to go and research this. Stand up, open your ears! I'd like to always, um, also add to this. I'm getting families coming forward to me who are having hassle for social services. 
Now these families are, are trying to get across the social services that they need help, they don't need their kids taken off them, or they need support. Now this is another big thing we've got here in Scotland, that social services would rather take kids away from families and give families the support, which is yeah. totally shocking. Now families... Now, what was them? Yeah, Social services are meant to work with families and give families the support they need. No come in and say that families are doing this, that and the next day when they're not. Are listening to other people, telling lies about families, instead of investigating the true story or the true facts that's going on. So this is another thing that's going on here in Scotland. Families are losing their children for nothing and they've got a big fight in their hands to try and get this stopped. So we need to work together and stand stand here on a Saturday and say we're not tolerating this and we're not saying to this. We need to unite together as parents, grandparents, sisters, brothers, for the kids because these kids shouldn't be getting taken away from families. Just because there's no happening around the booty doesn't mean to say it's no happening. Thanks everybody for listening. She don't play much, she don't smile, she don't laugh, she don't say much She don't know what it is to be a kid, she don't have any friends for grown men And what they want, you know what they want, what they paid for Nobody think about the children till they take yours And nobody can imagine this could never happen To have a kid never living next door The truth can bring tears, 1.2 million children a year 1.1 COVID deaths worldwide You won't help save the kids, but you will live in fear The more that I hear, more disgust that I get That the world could commit so much horrible sh so for the children, used, bruised and abused To you I refuse to forget, I'll be looking For any other sign If something isn't right, you can say it with your eyes Tell me how a mother can sell her own baby And live with it for the rest of her life Man, it's crazy, we know about the rape We hear about the torture And all of the stories are horror, but we just ignore them They don't want to do it, but somebody forced them But what about the third trimester abortion? Two buys the fetus, who sets the prices?